Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to Paper Mario with Robberlink. Hello. All right. Last time we finished off the Super Blooper, and we found the Ultra Boots, which I, allows yes. Robberlink to do the uh, Tornado Jump. Is that what it's called? I believe it said that was what it was called. Yep. Huh. I was right. I remembered. Very good. Probably because I edited the video. Uh, but yeah, I believe we are now in Shiver City because we just exited the sewers. Uh, yes, yeah. Shiver City. All right. And now we have penguins to talk to. You there. Speak. Yeah, hello. This is the northmost... Yeah, this is the northernmost burg, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away, yeah? Welcome to Shiver City. Hmm. Folks oh. seem friendly. Your windows look like an exclamation point. Were you going to say something? I was just wondering if, because of the way he said, yeah, at the end of his sentence, are they supposed to speak in a Canadian kind of accent? Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know what a Canadian accent is exactly. Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. But you'd better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. Like never! I will always wear a plumber's uniform, even if I'm not really a official plumber, I don't know. After I killed one too many, uh, innocent Koopas, they've revoked my plumbing license. Although I have been in the sewers quite a lot recently. The city is becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this totally suspicious stranger wandering around just a short time ago. He was wearing a plumber uniform. <laughs> he seemed to be searching for someone. I didn't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. I wonder if they're talking to that, that dude that was like wearing all black that we saw in Merlon's house, maybe? Maybe. Hey, you have a second degree card. <laughs> It's a start. I've got a third degree card. We'll come back for it eventually. I must be tougher than you. Oh. You want to go? Like, oh, really? <laughs> and dead. <laughs> this is Shiver City. It's usually completely covered with snow and ice. Hmm. It's perfect for penguins. It's a bit cold for me. You seem to be fine, though. How do you do it, Mario? I don't have any shivering Mario animations. <laughs> Therefore, I cannot be cold. Although I do have that one animation when I hit the block that is too strong for me to break. With the hammer. Yes. The Toad House slogan is, refresh your body and soul. Do you want to take a nap? Yep. Sleep well. I thought I might be an old lady at first, but now I'm like, Wait, no, those might just be earmuffs. Yeah, I think they are. It's like, how do you get your slogan so consistent across so many places? It's like a freaking McDonald's or something. Good luck to you. Wait, is oh. that a potato? Can I has? You got the iced potato. No. I can't hold it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! Get away from me! You cannot escape the flow of time. No! I can't if I run fast enough. <laughs> I do like how the uh, the watch ended up in the same exact position as the uh, potato. <laughs> it's like, there, I replaced it. They will never know. I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, Oh! Or, It's freezing! And he was also going, No! Mario! Who was that nut? Was he wearing an eggshell? By any chance? Oh, that's who it could be. You're right. <laughs> he would probably be very cold here. Considering that all he really has is a shell. That is, uh, broken. Yeah. Oh, hold on. And we didn't see him at all coming back from Flower Fields. True. Oh, you can get life shrooms here. Oh, you're right. Obviously, I stock up stock up on nothing but that. <laughs> I 
Wow, three coins. That's not really worth it. But like, sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know you're ripping me off, but for the sake of convenience, I will accept it. Probably don't need this either. Yeah, he probably says something cool, like about something about chill, but like I don't care enough. <laughs> okay. And have one more in my inventory for, in case we come across random items. Uh, let's go this way. There's more to speak to. I heard from Goopa that Shiver City is covered with snow all year round. Is that it? So, uh, what time of year is it? I don't know. How do you not know? It's the time of year where it snows here. Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? You were there. Well, what time is it? People who travel to here from other towns must think that this city is freezing cold. Maybe because it's freaking at ease. I'm used to it. I heard, though, that somewhere in the world is a hot town covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. Wow, it's rather rude. Ignorance is a bliss. I you feel like this is important somehow. <laughs> you look pretty ignorant. You must be super blissful. <laughs> yep. Very blissful, very ignorant. I can't even face its bliss. That's how ignorant it is. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in. Okay, but what does your husband freaking do? For that, what do you do? <laughs> She's the wife of Mayor Penguin, who's the mayor of Shiver City. She has a bit of a problem with exaggeration. You uh, couldn't have told us we're meeting the mayor? She loves mystery novels, and longs to be a great detective. The way I see it, she's a bit too flighty to be a detective. Like, but we haven't even seen her be flighty or exaggerate. How do you know all this? You, however, I think you'd make a great sleuth, Mario. And the way I know these things, I stalk everyone. Everyone. It's like, even, even during the time that you're with me? Everyone. Uh, um. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> this is the mayor of Shiver City, Mayor Penguin. He's a good friend of Herringway, another penguin. Everyone in the village relies on him. A uh, Herringway or this guy? Herringway. That sounds familiar. I wonder if that's who I think it is. Hmm. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. He's a little absent-minded, but he does his job well. I can see that. <laughs> Is his job tripping and slipping and uh, falling on the floor? <laughs> I know, I've seen him in Toad Town before. I wonder if he's been to the castle. Ever seen him before, Mario? Uh, no! I don't recognize this loser on the floor who's <laughs> passed out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I remember that. Are you drunk, sir? No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. Well, he's dead. I'm the mayor now. <laughs> What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herringway. Ah, the murderer. Oh, darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear. You know that'll... Oh, wait. You know you'll catch a code if you sleep in there. Or if you... Yeah. If you sleep there. No, I'm afraid he's dead. No! <laughs> Wasn't me! Help, somebody, anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a, a penguin murder mystery! Oh no, a PMM! I'm out of here! Let gas! Let's split before the police show up! What's going on here, madam? Oh no, we're too late! <laughs> Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. Uh oh My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! 
Oh, my darling husband! Somebody clipped his flippers! <laughs> oh, his flippers look fine to me, ma'am. A bit floppy. Bob Puffin, you're right. The mayor has been murdered. This is like a mystery novel. Except it's real. How tragic. <laughs> but madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there. That man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. <laughs> now hang on just a second here, madame. I won't tolerate the lying. Our voices are getting sup uh, suspiciously similar, but uh, never mind that. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey you, Mustache. Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? I object. <laughs> I call Gumbario to the stand. No. Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. No, you don't. Actually, the witness would be Gumbario, and he's on my side. <laughs> Isn't that right, madam? It, yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, uh, saw it with my own eyes. I think. <laughs> Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. No, it doesn't. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Oh, yes. What's your problem? You don't actually think Mario did it, do you? If I did, I'd have a good reason. I'm Mario, after all. Hmm. If you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Huh. I never trained for this. A backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slain. It's like I knew we should have killed more people in back rooms for, to train. <laughs> How could such a horrible plot twist hit our bu our peaceful city? Honestly, I thought he was just going to be like passed out or something. I didn't know he'd actually be dead. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way for but, me to be lazy. <laughs> but to make sure you don't just run off, we need to hold Gumbario hostage. Oh no! Like, wait, hostage sounds like a, like a, a villainous thing to do. It's part of our laws here. All right, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. What did you do? Clog the pipes? Uh. Also, what is the presence? Is that important? But it looks so important. Target. It does. Maybe I can resuscitate him. I'll screw you. You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. <laughs> when I said, you can go right in, <laughs> I knew it was the right choice. <laughs> when I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror. My poor, poor penguin kings. Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. Okay. Please forgive me for letting this murderer out of the house. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Are they all just gossiping? It's like, wow, world, uh, word travels fast. Mayor Penguin was murdered. <laughs> in his back room. And no one has the slightest idea who did it. Okay, good. At least they're not <laughs> spreading slanderous lies about Mario. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're, it's like we're in one of Herringway's mystery novels. How could such a terrible thing happen in, in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with a mustache did it. Oh, no, you don't. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Would you like to be a splatter on it? Speaking of which, did you not notice that there was a body 
If I was the murderer, there would not be a body left. <laughs> I would have caught it and ate it. <laughs> Brr, how terrifying. It just goes to show that you should never trust your first impression of people. So, can you go with Goombario and see if the green one actually is Herringway, or...? Oh, yeah, you're right. Although, I guess it, it made it sound like Herringway might be a novelist? So, kind of. So, maybe not. I don't know. Let's check. He's the Penguin Patrol, guardian of the city. He does an adequate job as an investigator, but I wouldn't count on his skills too much. When trouble arises, I think that Mario is the best man for the job. Good. You know who's in charge around here. Even if I'm not from here. And even if I'm not here. <laughs> I'm going down the pipe now. <laughs> uh, did you go in here? I don't think so. You. Are you Ernest Hemingway? Herringway? <laughs> Herringway? Yes, of course I know him. Wow, he heard me. <laughs> Everyone in the city knows about him. He's a world-famous mystery novelist. You think Herringway killed Mayor Penguin? Hmm, that sounds nuts, but... You might be onto something. Herringway does know everything about crimes and criminals. And he seems to have... Um, uh, and he seems to have mysteriously disappeared. Why do I have the feeling that... Like, it was just the beginning of a note that was directed to Herringway. And that, like, he actually is just in a coma or something. He's still fine. Ooh. I found something. Uh-huh. Anything hidden? Can you use Paracarry? Probably. But yeah, Herringway's like, hmm, I need to... <laughs> what do they call it? It's like method acting or whatever or something similar where it's like, I really need to get into the mind of a criminal to write my mystery novels better. I need to go murder someone. <laughs> then I'll know what it's really like to be a murderer, and I can write them better. Ah, oh, you got another attack effects. Huh. Alright. Yeah. And then... Is it annoying or not annoying? Let's find out. It was E. Oh, it's Yoshi. <laughs> My hammer is just a Yoshi now. Yeah. It's like Mario is used to, like, Mario used to abuse Yoshis by uh, dropping them in the pit for an extra jump. But now <laughs> we're, we're abusing Yoshi inside of our own hammer. I, s I sucked out the Yoshi's soul and imbued it within my hammer. Oh, it's Quizmo. You. How dare you give me a freaking impossible question last time? Cow Wiz! It's everyone's favorite uh, quiz master, Chuck Wizmo. You wanna try the quiz? Eh. Uh, you. Uh, no, there's no you. Want to try the quiz? Mc yes! Let's get it done already! Like, what are you, a McDonald's menu? Then let's go to the question! Is it gonna be the same one? Question. Yeah, it is. How many windows does the Goomba house in Goomba Village have? So I think you tried. Two, so try three. No. Oops, tough luck, pal. Wrong answer. Guess it's just one. Unless I unless I misremembered what you chose last time. No, I'm pretty sure I chose two or three. Hmm. Probably two. Alright. Well well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Y'all suck! Bye! Like, do I have to freaking pull up episode one or two and look? What an a-hole. <laughs> wow. I was about to say, let's go back and check, but no. They're actually stopping me. You'd better show some evidence if you were- if you uh, You'd better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from the spot. Oh no, sir -y. Like, how about you meet my hammer? I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Uh, it's like, you know, you can't sit there all day unless someone actually brings you food. Hmm. It's like, what are you going to do if you need to? Oh, no, wait, that does lead to the sewers. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, dang. He's got all his angles covered. <laughs> it's like, like, wow, I was just, uh, 
Accused of a murder I didn't commit. Better go save. <laughs> it looks like we could go skating on that frozen pond. Skating is tons of fun. I don't know, though. Do you think that ice might break? Oh, you might also notice that gate over there. It leads out into the highlands. The path from that gate leads all the way to Starborn Valley. Oh. I don't believe that's what that person who uh, was talking to Merlon was from. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting that to work. Oh, that works too. Oh yeah, because there's that. Ah. Here, you can finish it off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for a sec I thought it didn't work. Same. Like maybe not close enough. All right. Okay. Just frozen ice water. That's fine. Well, I imagine there's a point to that. Do you want to check if there's something uh, deep below? Yeah, just a sec. This building's a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. I can't believe I lost it. I ought to retrace my steps. Did you perhaps go for a swim? Hey, listen. If you find a key anywhere, let me know. Whoop. Okay. Sure, right after I uh, loot the entire building. Darn. Can't blow it out of the water. <laughs> Alright, Sushi. Time to freeze your gills off. Like, well, if she did get into the water, she would probably get put out. True. How Although, do I... Press the button again? Right. Yeah. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> Where is it in 3D space? It's a freaking 2D object. Okay. It's like I could not put a gumbet or no, bombette in here. Which, uh, I was hoping to put her out, but the fact that I couldn't made me very put out. Uh, hello? You're the number one suspect in the mayor's murder. You can't leave this city. Not until you prove you're innocent. I already did. Like, what are you talking about? I did. Whack. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Actually, is there anything in here yet? First. Actually, fine, I'll talk to you. This is Herringway's house. He's a novelist. Ah. Herringway should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. Hmm. No Herringway in sight. <laughs> Unless, is he hiding in a hidden block somewhere? <laughs> Kind of doubt it. Or a hidden panel. Hmm. I will attract him out of his hiding place with the power of my Yoshi sounds. <clears throat> I'm actually curious if there's a secret in there if you want to take out Watt. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it too, but I also doubted that you could break the ice. No. Okay. We must be thorough. Gosh dang it, this isn't Castlevania's Circle of the Moon. I almost said Circle of the Judgment. <laughs> judgment of the Moon. <laughs> Judges the Moon harshly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, don't give him the key. Use the key. <laughs> You're right. What was I thinking? I'm a wanted freaking criminal. Uh, criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. <laughs> I've... I've been... <laughs> Convicted. I. Uh, now that doesn't work. Convicted. Con. Hmm. Convicted. <laughs> yes. I've been convicted. <laughs> uh. Um. Of murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> All right. Oh, will this? Yeah, oh. maybe. Oh, is he, like, stuck upstairs or something? Or is he hiding upstairs? Maybe? We still don't know. Is Herringway villainous or hiding or what? What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room. Through the chimney. Ingenious. You really should install a door? Or a staircase? This penguin made a secret room in his house to hide in. What a cool idea. He is a friend of Mayor Penguin. But how does he get here? His name is Herringway. I don't know. 
and he, he writes mystery novels. His secret study, where he writes his novels, is on the second floor. I know that because we're here right now. <laughs> I imagine that he has lots of fans in the city. So I can see why he'd need a secret room. I wouldn't mind reading one of his mis- uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind- I wouldn't mind reading one of his novels someday. I was expecting the word mystery and then I got flustered and then I had to start over and then I misread one of the other words. And it all came crumbling down. Alright. What do you have to say for yourself? You! Murderer! <laughs> <laughs> Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Not Herringway, the murderer. Haven't you heard of me? Uh, no. <laughs> what? Mayor Penguin was murdered? No, I said I didn't know you. And I'm the sh uh, I'm the chief suspect? You're good at this guessing game. Surprisingly. You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. Well, then you need to clear yourself and <laughs> uh, make it clear you're innocent with proof. <laughs> totally. It totally isn't something I'm just shoving on you. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house, sorry. <laughs> it's like, wait. Reading the lines. Engage stairs. I'm also an inventor. Alrighty then. Alright then, come on. Let's go to the mayor's house. After you, frickin' Leonardo da Vinci. Oh. I'm trying to think of a penguin pun, but like, I can't. Penguinardo Penguinchki? I don't know. Penguinchki. <laughs> I'm completely butchering <laughs> <laughs> for no apparent reason. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, let's see. We have a few more minutes. Alright. Off we go. It's a good old-fashioned murder mystery, and I'm no longer the chief suspect. Uh, let me in. <laughs> How dare you? Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? I came up with a better suspect. <laughs> hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What? What? Mayor Penguin is clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it? I probably should have told you that at some point. I didn't think it was relevant. <laughs> <laughs> bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm. He definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course. It's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Harrigway, you cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You have first-hand experience. You live out your own plots. Yeah. <laughs> Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes. Yes, you were good friends. Aha, uh -huh. but that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. I bet he just ate your last ice cream, and you were mad at him. <laughs> it's like... Oh, come on, really, you simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working on, uh, wait, I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I barely had enough time to get groceries. Please help, I'm starving. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm. This penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. I should write a book about it. <laughs> should we maybe, should we maybe uh, try to determine the cause of death? Oh. 
I thought we weren't speaking to you. Uh, get back down. We're, we're busy trying to solve this murder mystery. Oh, my aching. Ouch. Eek! He's back from the dead. <laughs> my husband's returned. It's a, he's a ghost. Eek! Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? Are we having a party? What? what? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist. Just kidding. Just thinking of a, a YouTube video. Have you seen The Heavy is Dead? No. All right, I should remind me to send you a link to it. It's, it's dumb. <laughs> but it's basically just everyone <laughs> reiterating that The Heavy is dead. Including the heavy. <laughs> it's like, who killed him? I think it. Shush! You are dead! <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Um. I think. I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. But I want the present. <laughs> Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. I do wonder if we could have seen him at some point in Toad Town and we just didn't because we weren't exploring that much. Huh, well, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. In fact, let me tell you, they had this giant pit that they claimed used to be a castle. <laughs> but Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Like, hmm, as Mayor, maybe I should mandate that you people check a pulse. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So sorry. <laughs> as he's walking out, it's like, what's a pulse? <laughs> Uh, I thought it would. Uh, I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor is just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello. Sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. It sucks. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see. Of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. No, I refuse to change my outfit. All right, well, it is about time to end the episode, so do you want to head to the save point real quick? I want to talk to her, but okay. <laughs> we can come back. So, yeah, I think we'll end it here, and we shall continue this next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.